guys, welcome back. Um, my neighbours opposite are having a party right now. Um, I'm just going to say this very quickly before we get started. I just opened my door to tell them to pack it in and just at the same time he was opening his door so I could see in his apartment. It's like there's a grey mist in their apartment from all the weed that they're smoking so that's fun. Another very quick thing before we get started today is a very exciting video. I'm going to be trying out a pair of lashes and a glitter that I was actually sent in PR very kindly from My Mad Lashes. They will be linked in the description. It's not sponsored, they just sent me these things. Uh, this is the Sapphire pair of lashes and this is the Chameleon, I think? Karma Chameleon glitter. So if you would like to check them out, they're a very, very small indie brand. You know how I feel about supporting small indie brands. Um, yeah. Look in the description and use the code Caitlin10 for some money off. Let's get into it. <laughs> so when I filmed last Friday's video, I think I jinxed myself because I was like, oh my god, like look at my skin, like it's so good now and now I can do my base on camera. Well, uh, no. <laughs> as soon as I said that, it just got worse. So we're, we're just gonna have to deal with just doing, just doing this for now. Anyway, this is not what you came to this video to see. <laughs> I wanted to just talk about like larger scale influencers and why almost all of them are problematic and it's an issue, it's a problem, uh, says in the name, really doesn't it? And it's pissing me off a little bit, it really is. So obviously this kind of discussion is fueled by the recent James Charles saga that's going on. Are we surprised? No. <laughs> but I think in the past year, four influencers that I know and that I watch have now been accused of sexual assault and, you know, speaking to minors and allowing sexual assault. It's starting to become common and that is gross to me. I find that disgusting. So I wanted to talk about it. First of all, if an influencer can't understand and can't realise that they're in a position of power above their fans, they should not be influencers. They know. That's like being a teacher, you know? A teacher will always have a position of power over their pupils, just like an influencer has influence and power over their fans. That's just, if you can't see that, then delete your channel, uh, delete channel. <laughs> and like saying that it's not just these massive big scale influencers. Like I know I have an influence over my, my fans and my viewers, and I know that I don't have millions and millions of, of subscribers and followers but I still have an influence over people and over 600 people. I don't think people realise, especially this James Charles stuff, your fans aren't there to date. I don't know, I don't know why people have to explain that but apparently we do. You don't date your fans. It's the same if you were a pop star, okay? A pop star, I'm sure there's been a few cases where it's been love and they've loved each other so much. But for the most part, you don't do it. And the reason you don't do it is for this power imbalance. It's because if you're dating a fan, they are so much more susceptible to manipulation from you, even if you don't realize you're doing it. It's just, it's common sense. It is common sense. I, I don't, I don't get it. And I know that there are like dating websites and dating apps, especially for celebrities because of this this exact reason, because you don't date your fans. No, I realise that A, I look crazy right now, and B, that I'm relating this a lot to James Charles. Um, so let's let's switch it up a little bit. Let's talk about Destry Smith. Um, he was another creator that I used to follow and that I used to watch. And there's also been some very serious allegations come out against him as well. Oh God, David Dobrik as well. Wow. It's like they're all assholes. But it's become a common occurrence and I wanted to talk about why. Why that may be. Because, yeah, it's common. It is. Are we surprised anymore when an accusation comes out against a celebrity, especially an influencer? I'm, I'm not at this point. The reason that I kind of came up with uh, for influencers doing this is because it's easy. It is so easy for them to find someone who will blindly follow them. Because that's what they are, they're an influencer, they have so many young fans. You know, I don't hear of any influencer with an adult audience doing this because 
they know better and adults are a lot harder to man manipulate but children will kind of do whatever you want <laughs> and that is why so many of these you know child checks are put in place for teachers and for childminders and for anyone who even goes in the vicinity of children there are so many checks just to make sure that you're not one of these dangerous people and with influencers there is none of that you don't have to be checked and have a child i don't know exactly what they're called but i know you need to be assessed by someone to say yes you are able to work with children influencers don't have that so i think they get in this mindset that these people these children are there for them and i mean yeah they are but not like that <laughs> but yeah overall i just think it's easy um it's easy and i think celebrities obviously there have been a lot of celebrities who have done things like this but you don't hear about it as often and that's because celebrities are so much more in the limelight with this social media age influencers are getting there but you know if katy perry turns around and assaults a child it's all over the news straight away there's been a history of little to no repercussions with influencers only recently you know have people lost brand deals or have people been or people have been pulled from shelves like morphe because of their actions in the past there was no repercussions what you assaulted a, a kid okay when's your next video coming out and i think that's atrocious that's so oh it's taken a long time but now i believe that we are finally starting to see some repercussions obviously it started with jeffree star um well it started with jeffree star as i you know as i know it and as as many people like me know it um he was pulled from morphe which was a huge deal uh definitely a huge deal obviously laura lee was also pulled from morphe but i as much as her actions hurt people i would much rather hear about racist tweets than sexual assault and if you disagree with me then please check Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm always very, very careful about what I say on my channel, but that I will stand by. Um, yeah, racist tweets is not as serious as sexual assault. It's serious, don't get me wrong. I'm not underplaying it, but I'd rather hear about a racist than a pedophile. But even then, you know, Morphe dropped Laura Lee so fast, and I don't understand why it's taken so long for them to do the same with James. Probably because he's got a big stake in the company and I'm bet they're regretting that now okay so I'm gonna use this pigment pigment it's not a pigment it's a glitter what am I saying that's so pretty okay I've always stood away from things this like chunky but I'm loving this okay so I'm gonna go off camera shout at my neighbors and do my lashes and my lips and I'll just come back and kind of round stuff off okay See you in a minute. <laughs> okay, so I, oh, I'm out of focus, first of all. <laughs> I'm back, I put my lashes on. You can't really see them because of everything that's going on on the eyes, but I love them. So just again, these are the sapphire lashes and these are what, something, chame Karma Chameleon, this one. I also have another glitter, it's a blue one. So I'll be playing around with that. But yeah, this was the look today. Don't forget, if you do want some pretty inexpensive lashes or glitters use code caitlin10 at checkout and yeah you can get some money off and you're supporting an indie brand a very small indie brand and that is always amazing anyway yeah i hope you like this chit chat i just wanted to rant a little bit about the entitlement of of influencers and maybe why they do the things they do so i'm gonna pop off now i hope you did enjoy this video if you did please like and subscribe it would mean the world and yeah, I'm gonna go and spray the hallway because it stinks of weed. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.